Hey, how's it going? This is Tom over at Fangs TV. Welcome back. Today we are going to show you a few different things. Uh, we've got a few feeding videos to go through, uh, some of them being our larger adults that we have here, some being some juveniles. Uh, so a little takedown videos of different types of um, uh, tarantulas that we have here. Uh, I think it's going to be pretty awesome. Back behind me we have a, a wall of brackies. A lot of these are ones that were growing up like Hamori, Bomai, Amelia. Um, so that's uh, what we have back behind me right now. There's a few uh, different species as well. Some other things I want to show you, some different little upgrades that I made to the tanks recently, which are going to be pretty awesome moving forward. May actually change a little bit of what I'm doing for my setups. Uh, so that'll be pretty cool to show you. It's not what I do completely, but you'll see. Uh, and I'll show you in just a few minutes. So that's going to be awesome. All right, stay tuned. All right guys, so one of the things I want to talk to you about today is a top that was redesigned. Now there are a few out there. Um, this particular one comes from Susan Melton and you can actually see that she has like a little company going there um, creating and making different types of tops. So obviously the big problem here with these screen tops is one, it lets out way too much humidity. Um, the other is obviously with that screen material, tarantulas have been known to chew through that or um, get their little feet claws stuck in there. So uh, what basically we could do here, um, and you know what the other thing too is like after you start using these for a while, uh, they get real nasty looking like uh, you could probably see that it's like kind of like rusting out and stuff. Uh, that's from pouring water on top of these. Um, really was not a good design. You know, I don't, I don't know intentionally what the, you know, original intentions of these were. You know, what they were going to actually, what animals they were marketing to. You know, maybe not specifically tarantulas or not. Uh, but it just doesn't work out as well. So these ones that she made are actually pretty awesome. Um, so you can see it's just like a, a clear plexi in there and it has vent holes let me just so on either side the top and bottom kind of does away with that little slider which was unnecessary anyway but um these just fit right in here just have those right down in there and then you know you could still use your slides so that they don't go busting out but it fits in there pretty firm anyway and then you have your vents you know what i mean so it's pretty awesome You know, what's kind of neat, um, you know, obviously this person not at all even asked to be in a video. Um, but if I find products that, that are pretty cool, you know, I'll go ahead and I'll spotlight them. Um, just because, uh, honestly, they, they deserve it. They're doing, you know, cool little upgrades and things like that. Um, you know, so we didn't really, you know, work anything out. I just want to show you how, how awesome this is. You should hit her up um, if you have a few of these, these Exoterras because uh, it works really good. So, um, and it's basically like a, a three-part system. Um, there's like a little insert here. So you can see it's actually like two different pieces, this whole trim around here. And that sandwiches the, the plexi in between. So we got our P. Metallica lady in here today. I don't know wanna... Yeah, she's just hanging out. But yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. Okay guys, first we're gonna do a uh, little feeding video here. So first up we have our bee Homori, and we're gonna, oh, got that crooked edging in there. Uh, he's in a little trouble there, but let's see if this uh, bee Homori is gonna grab him or not. Oh, oh my gosh, he just got him. Oh yeah, oh yeah, he just tore him. Oh man. Yeah, these are the uh, about two and a half to three inches right now, and uh, they're finally getting to the point where they're not scared of food anymore, which is awesome. Uh, and then next we have our uh, Tila de Cattle um, Vegans, uh, Mexican Red Rump. So this one here, let's toss a cricket in and uh, get to feed in this one. Oh, oh my goodness, of course it lands right on its head. Oh, oh, hey. Oh, okay, still got it, still got it, that's awesome. 
Okay, yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness, I can't believe we landed right on its head. It's too ridiculous. But at least we got our food. Okay, we got our Catalina here. Oh, no, missed that one. Let's try to get a little bit closer here with the tongs. Oh, oh. These, these, these crickets are never cooperative. Oh, oh my. All right. Oh, no. Yes, no. Okay, here it goes. All right. All right. Awesome. Yeah, that was, that was a great takedown. Uh, we have our uh, sign of femur here. Already grabbed one from us, but uh, it's trying to. Yep, there we go. Really getting a control of it. I love these guys too as they grow. They get some awesome color. And our uh, blondie here. Let's give that in a little snack. The speed on these guys is just insane. And, and how they could just do a 180 like that, like it's just, uh, they have such a great feeding response. Uh, we have our Geniculata here. Again, just, just super awesome power from these guys too. They end up being monsters as they're older. Our last here, let's go ahead and give this uh, Cobalt Blue a, a snack here. It's literal pet bowl. Um, it's probably burrowed down a good seven to eight inches. Cricket's taking a sweet old time, like always. <laughs> Sometimes these just take forever to feed like this. Uh, you know, I'm not always filming. You know, I'll just toss uh, some food in, whether it be dubia or crickets. And, uh, you know, they just end up, you know, with a little pile at the end. But, you know, sitting here waiting for it. Cricket really, you know, has to make its way all the way down here. And I think as soon as, uh, you know, they feel that little bit of motion here, we're going to see... Gonna, oh, there we go. Okay. Oh, yeah, definitely. This one should probably be molting soon. It's looking a little little dull for a cobalt, but... Yeah, that's pretty much it. What I have for you. Uh, watching all the different uh, animals eat, and in the future I'll be showing different species and uh, talking a little bit more about them, as well as a few other upgrades that I'm going to have for the animals here. So, uh, thank you very much. If you could please like and subscribe, really means a lot to me. And I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one, guys.